Hey, this is gonna be a special video because this is my audition for the Less Than Famous panel. Some quick info for anybody who doesn't know about the panel. It's this amazing project started by a YouTuber named Talent Hatter. He and a team of curators are going to pick a few YouTubers who don't necessarily have huge followings, but they love online video and they make cool stuff, and they're all going to participate in a panel this year at VidCon. Okay, so, my name is Mike Martin. I'm a 28-year-old vlogger from West Virginia who will definitely be attending VidCon this year. I make a video every week, many of them about the meaning of pop culture because I freaking love pop culture, and I'm pretty sure that I'm the only young adult novelist with brown hair and glasses who makes videos on YouTube. That's not true. Film and video are my first love. I actually went to film school, and although I've only been posting videos on this channel for a few months, I've actually been uploading things to YouTube since like 2006. I won't link to them here on account of they're awful, but I would be glad to message you privately. Very, very privately. A couple years after that, I started making t-shirts for other YouTubers. The first one was for Ed Bassmaster, who has this amazing character called Mumbles the Cowboy, and my Hill Valley Hoverboard Champion shirt has been showing up in Rhett and Link's videos since 2009. So I've been involved with the YouTube community for a while, but I began this weekly vlog channel about four months ago, not necessarily because I wanted to build a big audience, but because I so wanted to connect with the community in a deeper way. And I've been really surprised and moved and delighted to have gotten some support from people like Elmify or Birdie Bird G or the Vlog Brothers. By far the best part of this though has been getting to interact with the people who watch the stuff that I make and with other creators who are doing really incredible work. Honestly, for the first time in my adult life, I'm making, like, many new friends, and I can't overexpress my gratitude for how that's changed the way I experience my world on a day-to-day -day basis. Having said all that, there are people applying for this panel who have been making amazing work for years, and in that regard I can't deny that they probably deserve to be chosen more than me. One thing that I might be able to bring to the panel is that YouTube hasn't just changed my life, it's also changed my writing. I recently made one of the main characters in my next novel for HarperCollins a YouTuber. In a very real way, that book is kinda gonna be about YouTube, about how it changes our lives and about how it gives us this increased sense of the possibility of home, about how it's given us this unimagined miracle to share all these wonderful things with a community that is both global and intimate. In fairness, it'll also be about blowing up monsters and stuff. Thank you so much for doing this project, James. It's fantastic, and if I'm not on the panel, I'll be in the first row. Thanks for watching. And as I went through my possessions, I realized- Oh my god, I have been a geek my entire life.